morning from Nichang city. Today marks the start of another adventure. This time we're on our way to Dalat for some colder weather. The reason why Claire's not in this picture is because she's in a bit of a hurry. She's marching ahead of me. I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> we are here at Han Cafe. It is a short walk from our apartment. Han Cafe is a pickup point for all buses um, coming through Natrang. We booked our tickets for this bus on 12 Go Asia. Um, we use that site for everything all our bus tickets and train tickets. Our tickets were 280,000 dong for the both of us there and 280,000 back. So it's a total of 560,000 dong. The bus ride is about five to six hours long. So we're just waiting for our bus now and then we'll be on our way. to Dalat. It's so cool. I mean, cool and cool here. The weather. <laughs> At least it's not raining though, which we expected it to be. But yeah, the bus ride was very, very scenic. Clary slept most of the way. Lots of strawberry farms, and fruit farms, lots of pine trees, and yeah, great views. So the ride in total took four hours, which included a 30 minute stop. So only three and a half hours of actual driving in the bus. We were dropped at the Han Cafe here in the Lat in the main street. And just across the road is a cafe called Anne Cafe, which, which is the sister cafe of Rainforest Cafe in the train. Which if you didn't know, Rainforest is practically, basically is our best cafe in the Trang and possibly even in Vietnam. Just gonna get our food now. I've ordered a western breakfast and a, a smoothie. So looking forward to that. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I've got bò kho and ban mi. Ban mi bò kho. <laughs> I'm probably saying that wrong, but that's good. As it's a know. traditional Vietnamese soup here in the Lat. It's so delicious. It is very spicy broth with beef, onions, carrots, and lemongrass, as well as some chilies. And then they give us extra chilies with salt and pepper and lime, a whole bunch of greens, and then this was a banh mi roll. It is so good. And if you know me, my favorite meals in this whole world are stew and soup, and this is a stew and a soup put together. Yummy! A lot of the central parts of Vietnam were on a spice trade route between China, India and Europe. And that's why this meal is so spicy and it reminds me of Indian food is because it has Indian spices in it. Oh, and fun fact, uh, Vietnam only started eating cows in the 1950s because they believed that cows were working animals and they were too valuable to eat. We're done at lunch. Time to head to the Airbnb. Here we are down here. Okay, thank you, sir. We've arrived safely at our Airbnb in Delat. This uh, Airbnb is actually a hostel and it's called Maple Hostel. It's about a five to ten minute drive from the city center. And this Airbnb costs it's around about $20 a night. Yeah, possibly a little bit more. I'll put the link down below so you guys can check it out. 
we are right in the valley there's pine trees all around us it is absolutely stunning can't wait to explore more of the area the airbnb do have the option of you renting a motorbike if that's what you want to do you can get out there and explore yourselves this is our loyal steed for the weekend the familiar honda airblade are you ready to go get an airblade yeah we had one in ho chi minh where are we off to we are going to that tanla waterfalls where they have a ride like a roller coaster through the forest and then i think there's also hikes there little hikes so we're going to go and do that now because um it's forecasted to rain the entire weekend so we may as well go there now while it's not raining that should be really fun <laughs> Right, hello oh. from Switzerland. Guess who's in love with the lats? Yep, it's a beautiful place. Surrounded with pine trees. Just makes me feel like I'm back in the Bavarian hills of southern Germany. It's amazing. Anyway, we're heading to the roller coaster. This should be fun. Tickets are 150,000 dong per person for return, so down and back. Amazing experience. We have just made a pit stop uh, yeah. because we're by the waterfall. Having a look at the waterfall and we're about to go up. Unbelievable experience. If you haven't been, you have to come to the Lat. Besides it being incredibly beautiful, there's just so many fun things to do. So we've just arrived at the waterfall now. This is called the Tanla Waterfall. jump onto the bike and try and find a place to go and eat food but that was definitely worth it if you're ever in Dalat come to the Tanla waterfall and do the 
Do the everything. Do the alpine coaster. We heard about this place on Interfair. They're a YouTube couple that travel and, you know, vlog their lifestyle, their travels and food. And they recommended coming to this place. This is Nem Noir. And basically what it is, is it's rice paper, pork, a bit of crackling or fried rice paper, a couple of turnips and carrots and cucumber and pickles and then a whole bunch of greens. And then it comes with a delicious peanut sauce. Basically what you do is you lay two pieces of rice paper down. You put your greens down, first of all. Some basil, some lettuce, some lemongrass, then a bit of pork. And then you put a bit of fried rice paper on it. And then the turnips and the cucumbers and pickles and things. And then you fold it all up, dunk it into the peanut sauce and enjoy. First you stack it, put some chili, then you roll it, it's going to be a fatty, not bad, then you dunk it. How is it? Very good, I love the sauce so much. The peanut sauce is really good. I'm a big fan of peanut anything and everything. <laughs> hey, we're at our next stop, which is the Da Nang Night Market. Right here in the center of town, there's a circle, a big circle. It's got these all old uh, BW beetles, and it's just really, really lit up and so beautiful. Clary's gonna get a Delat pancake now, and then we're on the hunt for some soya milk, and possibly a jersey because it is freezing. <laughs> right, so I got myself a Delac pancake. It is rice paper with egg, with cheese, with green onions, and I think it was uh, pork pate. <laughs> it's about to walk into the barbecue. <laughs> Let's go for it. I think it's good. I don't think it's spicy, no. One of the most popular things to do here in the lat, you'll see them everywhere, are little stands with blue chairs and a soya milk, warm, warm soya milk. So when you're in the lat, you have to come and sit down at one of these little kiddies tables and get yourself a soya milk. It comes in three different flavors. Actually, I think it might be four. It's green bean, plain, cinnamon, and peanut. We got ourselves a plain soy milk and a green bean soy milk and they were quite delicious. Very very sweet. This lady sweetens hers with sugar but usually they put um, condensed milk at the bottom and you mix it through. But it is wonderful for a cold evening here in the lab to just sip on a warm soy milk. Comes with a little plate of uh, pastries and breads, and you can just take what you want, and then afterwards they'll bill you accordingly. I think you can hear the drums in the background. The mid autumn festival is well underway. The boys are getting ready to go and have some fun. Finished with the soya milks, it was 60k for two, and we had two breads. I had a cinnamon bun actually, quite delicious. Now we're just gonna explore the market, see what they have here. By the way, uh, that pancake was not that great. Not that great. I would great. give it like a four. Maybe I went to the wrong stand, but. found my new jacket. It's definitely going to help for those bike rides in the rain. Welcome to the club. Now we match. <laughs> and it was 200,000 dong for this, which is about 
eight dollars. Eight dollars for a jacket. I mean, that's just great. The latter is the fresh fruit capital of the world. Well, of Vietnam at least. Anything you want in fruit, you can find it here. It's well known for its strawberries and their peaches look amazing. Jerry just picked up a nice pair of tracksuit pants for five dollars or less, three dollars. Obviously they're fake, but you must remember all the, the factories for Adidas and, and Nike are here in Vietnam. So good chance it's just all the rejects. Strawberries covered in cinnamon and sugar. Is it not cinnamon? Spicy. You joking? Swear love. It's like the mango thing. Alright, we're gonna finish off today's adventure. Very cool first day in Dalat. We'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night! here in Dalat and one of the things to do here in Dalat is to come to the big square there is like this open arena and stairs where people come here during the day to like ride their bicycles and to relax and then a lot of people come here at night time to eat some snacks and just hang out and there's a mall underneath it you won't actually see but it's a tiny little entrance and it's a really nice mall and then right across the road from this open space is the Shin Hung Lake I'm probably saying that totally wrong but it's a place where you can come and um, hire little swan boats and you can paddle around it's quite a big lake and you just paddle and relax and view the beautiful scenery now we are on our way to the Dalat railway station so let's go Next stop is the Dilat railway station, originally built by the French in 1938, used to limited capacity up to the end of the Vietnamese war and now it's just a tourist attraction. So hopefully we're going to see some old trains. You're about to lose me. Pretty awesome having lots of fun in the rain on the trains just a correction these trains actually do still operate they do often do scenic routes to a nearby train station I'm not sure when exactly but it could be quite a cool thing to come and do but otherwise this is a very cool photograph and Instagram spot there's been like dozens of photographers taking pictures of people here all day long so very fun there's also a nice little coffee shop here on the train so we're gonna grab a tea quick because it is cold Freezing. I think 
we've been at the train station for about an hour and a half now. It's still raining, but we've had a great time. Just finished up a nice tea, ginger tea, and now we're off to lunch. We gotta go out on our bikes now in the rain, so we bought some plastic packets. Hope it fits. <laughs> Ready to go. Safe to say, we got a bit wet. <laughs> Just arrived at La Chalet Cafe and Bistro. Safe to say we got very wet on the way here. Even though it's not raining that hard on the bike, it just uh, intensifies. We bought the little um, plastic raincoats, but didn't really help much. Anyway, time for some lunch. Finished at lunch, it's raining quite badly. We got very wet again. We're gonna chill for a bit this afternoon. Hopefully wait out the rain. We can't go to the coffee fields just yet. But hopefully we can get there either later or tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. It is our last few hours here in Dalat and we have come to a little coffee garden to have breakfast and coffee and yeah, soak in all the beautiful views. Look at it behind us, it's so green. Seems um, to be the hangout for all the biker boys. Yeah. You hear a couple bikes going by. So it's Sunday today and back home, this is a tradition for the bikers on a Sunday to drive out to a nice place to eat breakfast. So it's cool to see that they're doing the same thing here in Vietnam. So we're a little bit sad because yesterday it started raining as soon as we got to the train station and it did not stop for the entire afternoon yesterday and the evening and it was pouring down and we really wanted to go to a coffee plantation here in Delat. Delat is best known for its coffee plantation. Delat is the second biggest export of coffee in the world. I think Brazil is first. And we were going to go to a coffee plantation called Keho Village. It is a small village just a few kilometers outside of the Delat city center. And you go there and they take you on a half day tour and they walk you around the plantations and then you can taste all the coffee and then buy coffee at the end. So we're really sad that we couldn't do that. If you are ever in Delat, we highly recommend that you go and visit a coffee plantation. We've heard really good reviews about Keho uh, coffee plantation and village. So check them out. We know we came in the rainy season, which is I believe from April to November, but we had to come before we leave Vietnam. This is our second last weekend here. So we really didn't have any other choice, but it's been fine. I mean, we've enjoyed the cooler weather. Oh, so nice. Yeah. It's just nice to get away from that humidity and the heat and being sweaty all the time. So earlier I said that Delat is my favorite city here in Vietnam and here are my reasons why. Number one, the temperature is amazing. It is a very temperate weather here in Delat. Um, it can sometimes be really warm, it can sometimes be very cool. They have seasons here in Delat so it's nice to have the variety. While we've been here in Delat, we've been wearing like little sweaters and we're wearing a t-shirt now. Pants, but but the sun's come out so I'm wearing a t-shirt. Yeah. It's still pretty warm when the sun comes out. Yeah, but it's been very nice to be able to wear like a little sweater or a jumper and not like sweat the entire day and not be so bothered by the heat. Um, Reason number two is the scenery. It is absolutely stunning here in Delat. You are totally surrounded by greenery and trees and plants and beautiful flowers. The farming here in Delat is also something that they're very well known for. The produce that comes out of this place is just amazing. You're also surrounded by mountains and valleys and lakes and 
waterfalls. Just this. The nature here is beautiful. It is very, very green. There's pine trees in every direction that you look. So, yeah, it's such a beautiful, nice change from all the sky rise buildings of Ho Chi Minh, the Trang, even Da Nang. So, it's very, very, very nice. And that leads us into number three. Number three is the architecture. Um, the architecture here is very European. Uh, it's not like what we're used to in the Trang, Ho Chi Minh and Da Nang. There's a very European feel to the lap because of the architecture. And they've like tried to maintain the old buildings and the French heritage, which is really nice. Red said yesterday that it makes him feel like he's in the German mountains. Surrounded by all the trees and the architecture, it does really feel like you're in Europe. It's not just the buildings, it's the trees as well. It all adds to that feeling that you're in Europe. Yeah. I can understand why the French made this their resort and felt at home here in Delat. And it's a breath of fresh air because we're used to seeing skyrise buildings everywhere in a train in Ho Chi Minh City. It doesn't have the same feel when you've got skyrise buildings everywhere that are lit up in neon colored lights. <laughs> <laughs> and then reason number four, the activities. There are tons of things to do here in Delat and you don't have to take like a long drive out into the countryside to do things. I mean, the waterfall that we went to that, uh, yesterday, or the day before yesterday, was only a 10 minute drive away. And that's, that's amazing. So there's a lot of things to do within close proximity of the city center. I think the further is steel drive is about 30 minutes to get to some of the waterfalls and the coffee farms. So plantations. That's pretty reasonable. <laughs> Whereas when you were in Ho Chi Minh City, the nearest like waterfall was like an hour and a half, two hours drive away. And then finally, reason number five, why we, well, I <laughs> love that so much and why it's my favorite city, is just the overall vibe. Like there's something about the land that's just different and it makes you feel good. I don't know if it's all the greenery and you know. I think it's everything in one. It's the greenery, it's uh, the lack of high-rise buildings, it does, it's not as busy with tourism, although we are here in the low season, it's just not flooded with tourists, it just feels far more relaxed and local. It's a really nice peaceful getaway. Red still For those wondering, my favorite city is still Da Nang. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, Da Nang! <laughs> um, but the lad is very, very close second. We wish we could have done more, but we included everything we could in this video. Hope um, you guys have enjoyed the video. Yeah, we are going to actually go to Anne Cafe now and have breakfast before we get onto our bus. As we mentioned earlier, this is our second last uh, weekend in Vietnam. And that means we must be going to another country. Hmm. Where could it be? <laughs> <laughs> we are going to Bali, Indonesia for one or two months. It's been a fantastic nine months in Vietnam. It's been an absolute journey. Loved every second of it. I think I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> I think there'll be maybe one or two more Vietnam videos, but thereafter it'll be Indonesia for a bit. I hope you guys come along with us on the adventure and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!